typically you want to look at doing a parasite cleanse. You want to be persistent and consistent for at least 90 days. So parasites, they lay eggs. The eggs wait a little bit, then they hatch. Now you have new parasites and those lay eggs. And there's some parasites that will lay, you know, 200,000 eggs per day. Uh, Ascaris lumbricoides roundworm. It's just disgusting to think about. So yep. you're not going to, you're not going to kill all the parasites in one day or one weekend, uh, but they're typically most active over a full moon. So I usually like to recommend people parasite cleanse, start off, do at least 90 days straight of parasite cleansing. If you feel like, you know what, I feel a lot better. I don't think I need to continue. Then that's where I like people just to focus on the full moon then. So you can do three days, five or even seven days over a full moon. And for example, if you're going to do five days, you would do the two days before the full moon, on the full moon, two days after the full moon, uh, as far as really just dosing up on a lot of herbs, you know, anti-parasitic herbs and things. And you're going to get the most bang for your investment and for your time. And uh, typically you'll feel a lot better during that full moon period as well too then. Okay. So, so many new questions. First of all, I have to say that people will see like parasites and full moon and they think it's, they think it's woo woo. They think it's like witchery, but I will tell you what you watch social media and you watch the moms and the <laughs> teachers will start to talk about, Oh great. It's a full moon. Kids are going to go crazy. So maybe it's the, you know, impact of sleep or whatever. Like it's, it's a real scientific phenomenon. So I like that you brought that in with the tide and that the full moon can actually impact our health, partly perhaps because it's impacting the parasites, you know, infecting us. Um, but you're saying, I guess my question is, you talked about if you do a big old parasite cleanse, 90 days, and now, now this is just a habit of life. This is not something you do once every couple of years, but you should kind of continually keep up on this, maybe every couple of full moon cycles. Yeah, it's it's really up to the individual. Uh, we've had people where they needed to parasite cleanse over a year that they're just so infected, uh, you know, off the get go, and then more of you're just looking at maintenance. So parasites are in food supply, they're in veggies, they're in meat. So no matter what your diet is, there's parasites in the food supply. They're in the soil, they're in the water supply. I mean, you can get them from family members, you can get them from pets, you can just get them from your environment. So it's really important to uh, know that hey, we're going to bring the level of parasites down in the body, but just life they'll start creeping up typically. So then we want to focus with maintenance. And they used to do this back in the day, farmers, they would cleanse their animals and their family members every spring and fall. So you could do just a twice a year type of, you know, 30 day cleanse as a maintenance thing. A lot of people choose just to focus over the full moon. So they'll go, you know, maybe every full moon uh, for a few months. And then uh, if symptoms start you know, minimizing and they're really feeling good, then they'll maybe skip, you know, every other full moon or every third full moon. But we recommend at least um, 30 days every six months as far as, uh, you know, maintenance. And then if you notice, whoa, my stomach's going nuts or I, I'm seeing things in my stool, I, I, feel, I feel something working, then extend it. Don't just mm -hmm. keep it short, but extend it because you know that you need to clear that out. And just think, we're basically an onion that we're just peeling the layers back. Certain pathogens, certain parasites will clear out first, allow you to get to the deeper ones, and then get to the deeper ones. You can't get to them all at once. And just like when you're peeling onions, unless you have contacts in, uh, just like when you're peeling onions, you'll have some tears sometimes, and that's part of the journey. But that's really how we're going to get deep and, and clear out these um, critters, if you will, that have been taking or stealing nutrients from us for so long. 